Gold Stars vibes, our new TV show that's being produced by Gold Star Productions or Gold Star TV. So the purpose of our show is to support local music. Yay, we love local music, indie music. And we are here tonight with Razor's Edge, and this is Alex and Kevin. And I have to say, I'm a big fan of their music. I love it. Oh, I liked you. it from the start. Thank you. So, um, you want to tell me a little bit about Razor's Edge and what people can expect when they come to see you? Yeah, uh, with Razor's Edge, basically, I go by Mad Red in the band. And my strong character is that I'm a Gemini. I have split personalities. Sometimes you get the happy-go-lucky me, which you got right now. Other times you got the more aggressive, dark side, who's been in a dark world, basically. You know, all um, about Gemini's. Yes, <laughs> it's it's one of those worlds. I've had a lot of mistreatment in the world. And sometimes I show it. Smart. I usually only show it on stage, though. So, um, you know, mainly when it comes to Razor's Edge, the biggest influence, the biggest thing we have is horror movies, because we feel like we're living in a real-life horror movie. And we like to tell stories about that. Tell stories about real life. And, um, you know, we just recently um, had a little bit of a member change, too. Yeah, you've had a little bit of a change there. So tell us a little bit about that. And then tell us about Kevin. How did you find Kevin? Well, I'm so happy you got somebody else. <laughs> First of all, um, I'll say it. My old partner I had, you know, he was a very flaky person, which he's what helped cause my dark side come out. He's a very flaky person. He used to lip sing, I'll say it. A um, bunch of different stuff, and um, it just didn't work out anymore. And we were supposed to play a really big show. He no-showed. And I just couldn't have that. Yeah, I couldn't have that. We were supposed to play at the Hard Rock Live of all places. And uh, I just couldn't have somebody who was that untrustworthy, that sketchy. Did show for Hard Rock Live? No. No-show. The morning of. And um, it took me a little bit of time, but I found a member in Kevin, a.k.a. Shadow. Shadow, I like that. And I like my makeup. It makes you think of Shadow. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's my whole thing, is I've been living in this cruel world, and it just kind of makes me blend in with the shadows. I don't want to be a part of anything out there. I want to be my own thing, and I will stay in the shadows. Creeping and waiting for that one day. Yeah. I'm gonna watch my back now. I do get my time on stage. That is my day where I can show the world how I feel. I can't wait to see you perform. Now, how long have you guys? Well, you've been with the group how long? Like about two months. We've been two months. On yes. But how long have you been in the music industry? Two months is since when he's been in the music industry. This is all, this all brand new, new open doors for him. Yeah. Yeah. And what about you? Did you? You're also a promoter, so you yes, can tell people what else um, I'm also, I own my own company. It's uh, Abracadabra Entertainment. Book shows all around the U.S., but more specifically in Central Florida. Um, mainly House of Blues, um, Firestone Live, and then a newer venue that's been around for about a year, the 321 Local in Cocoa, Florida. Really Which is good. where we're at right yes, now. that is where we're at. Yeah. It's a really awesome good up-and-coming venue. It's on the rise. Um, we've got countless national acts coming in here, and it's just it's blowing up really quick. So Kevin does an amazing job here. Kevin gives, gives a lot of us people like us a chance. Well, I can see a big change since you've taken over, honestly, because I was here before you, and the venue looks awesome. Yeah. They got a whole new sound system, new lighting, just remodeled the entire place. And it, it turned out magnificent. I love this venue. It's my it's my home spot. I'm here hanging out usually every every day almost. And then we, you have some great bands playing tonight too. Oh yeah. Um, tonight, I mean, we got a band called Another Life Spared. Um, female fronted band, really good band. Another band that I just took over managing called Breathing Theory. They have more of a uh, seven dust sort of sound, very radio friendly and a lot of potential. I can't wait to hear them. Yeah, another band, The Chaos Agent. They're from um, Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, again, more radio rock friendly stuff right there. And closing out the night, we have Aleel. They're from Jacksonville. And Kelly Hayes, who played in the band Cole, is actually the one who started the band. Oh, very good. Yeah, he is the guitar player for Cole. I was a big Cole fan, so it's awesome. I like them too. And we're interviewing them later, so we're awesome. looking forward to that. That's awesome. Very, very nice. Now tell us about, you have a show coming up next weekend. 
Yes. Um, I'm going to be playing right here at the 321 local. And it's, it's going to be kind of big. We're actually debuting a new member that night. We're going to have a DJ. We're debuting an onstage DJ. So nice. it'll be something different, something to, you know, add more to it. Mm -hmm. And um, another show we have coming up is on October 15th. We're going to be going up to Gainesville, Florida, uh, playing at the Backstage Lounge. Oh, that's an awesome venue. I like so, that venue. Cool venue. Yeah. The owner there is really cool. Mm -hmm. And it's Gainesville, you know. Sure. College, college town. town. Yep. College town. college town. My son goes to college up there. So. Oh, that's awesome. That's I'll tell awesome. him to come to your show. For so. sure. For yeah, sure. For yeah, sure. definitely. That's awesome. So are you getting ready to go on tour too, right? Yeah. Um, well, we got a few dates we're going to be doing um, coming up in December. Uh, we're touring, doing a few dates with the Axe Murder Boys, who used to be signed with Psychopathic Records. Um, anybody who knows anything about Insane Composting, that's the big you know, thing like right now. And uh, we're also going to be doing a few dates with ABK. Anybody Killer, he's another big name artist. And uh, we're gonna try and get ourselves out there more and meet a bunch of new people, see some new faces, have some fun. Awesome. We definitely wanna try to be up here. Now your battles to the House of Blues, you have that kind of week. We're um, sending you bands too. Yes, cool. thank you very much yeah. for that by the way. Yeah. Getting to check out some awesome talent. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, the next one we have right here, it's gonna feature Coyote Band Shakedown. Um, band called Circuit Bender, which is very, they don't have a vocalist, they have a guitar player and a drummer, very weird, sort of jammy sort of band, it's very unique, and uh, Colton, uh, Colton Woodward, yeah. And I um, met him on Warped Tour, I discovered him there, so I'm excited. He's that awesome. is awesome right there, Warped Tour. Yeah, he's been on there twice. Yeah, so oh wow. Gonna be amazing. So he has that tour experience then, yeah, at festivals, yeah. it's amazing. awesome. Very good I look forward to seeing him, I look forward yeah, to seeing him, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure, so. And what the whole battle is, you know, we're putting on five battles, and the winner of each of those battles goes on to play one big massive battle between all the winners. The winner of that battle gets the grand opportunity to play House of Blues. That is a chance right there that a lot of bands don't get, but it's it's big. It opens a lot of doors for them. There's nothing like playing on that stage in front of 1,500 to 2,000 people. It's and, and Alex packs them in. I've been to his House of Blues shows, thousands, thousands. I mean, it's he packs fun. them in. And the tickets are usually... It's always free. It's always free. Always um, free. Free yeah. parking, free show. Saturday night, you can never go wrong with the crowd. Always a good crowd. Always, good, always good, crowd. good crowd. good bands playing. A uh, bunch of free merchandise gets thrown out. Thank you from uh, Real Rock 101. They get to mm -hmm. give free merchandise out to so, a lot of big stuff. Let's see. So you're a commander and a performer. Yes. So uh, how do you do it all? No sleep. <laughs> Honestly, in my life, music is the only thing I've ever had. Um, I've never really had friends. Never really had much family except for my mom. And I focus 24/7 on music. You know, I wake up to it. I go to sleep to it. I dream about it. It's what I live for. Um, I don't know if I'd be here right now if I didn't have music in my life, honestly. It's, it's why my heart beats every day. Oh, that's awesome. I love music. It's, it's my life, honestly. And that's what you need in this business. Yes. Like the dedication, the motivation. It's all I live for. I mean, honestly, whether it's being behind the scenes and putting on the show, or being up front and performing the show, it's just involved in the music industry. It has its ups and downs, but you know what? It's, it's what I live for, and I love every second of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take any of it back. You can really see it when he goes on stage, the emotion and the and everything that he puts into it. You can really tell that this man lives for music. Yeah, every time I go on stage, I you know I pretend it's my last time ever performing, my last day I get to breathe, and I give everything I have. Passion. That's what I live for. That's what I live for. You know. And I can tell you're excited. I can see it. I've always been wanting to get into music. I've tried several times to get out there and. and and present my emotion into this and it wasn't until I met him everything happened everything just kind of fell into place to give me my my chance to get out there and perform so, um, what advice would you give to somebody that wants to be in the music business that wants to perform honestly I've worked with a lot of bands worked with a lot of people who say they want to make it in the business and you can weed out the real people from the fake people who are in this to make money mm -hmm. or who's in this because they actually love music. My biggest advice I can give is just keep trying, always keep moving, and never give up on it. 
Exactly. Um, you're going to have your bad days. Everybody has them. But then you're going to have your good days. But in the end, everything is going to be... You only get back what you put in. If you really want it, you will make it happen. Okay. Just, okay. just have your heart beating and believe it. Very true. I think the music industry is probably the hardest business. It's very but hard. one of the most rewarding. Agreed. One of the most rewarding. It's very challenging, and if you like challenges... <laughs> I love challenges. I like to push myself to the limit and see what I can do to better myself. And, you know, I always take, you know, criticism, whatever it takes, you know. Critique me what you need. I like to try and improve and just make myself the best I can be out there, you know. So. Awesome. So I'm going to let you um, give a shout-out for your show again. Um, and then say your website. Uh, upcoming dates in December. Um... <laughs> We're going to be doing a mini tour with A and B, Axe Murder Boys, and ABK, Anybody Kill Us. So we'll be going all around Florida. Um, you can check us out online, ReverbNation.com slash Razor's Edge. And that's Razor's with a Z. A lot of people spell it with an S. No, it's with a Z. We're different. So ReverbNation.com slash Razor's Edge. Facebook, you can look us up, Razor's Edge, or Facebook.com slash Razor's Edge Music. Um, we have our own YouTube channel, which I personally run, youtube.com slash Razor's Edge Official. We have a bunch of live footage, music videos, and a bunch we more all, on there. We always keep updating that, so we always like to get everything from shows. Anybody that'll send something to us, we like to put it up there to keep it for our fans. Yeah. So check us out, Reverb Nation, YouTube, Facebook. We'll be coming to a city near you. Awesome. Okay, well, I want to thank you guys for coming on our well, show. You. And we thank will you. definitely get your to come to their shows. They're awesome. They're amazing. I'm one of their biggest fans. I love them from the beginning. So, and I was one of the ones that kind of had something in myself. <laughs> but it's a Z. <laughs> but it's, it, they're awesome and they're very entertaining and um, there's a lot of soul passion. So, thank you very much. Well, thank you. <laughs>